Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hero Handmade Crochet YouTube channel. Today I will take you through how to make this beautiful crochet star. This is a beginner friendly video where I will explain all the stitches step by step. First of all, we will look into the things needed for the project. First, we will need some yarn. I am going to use 100% cotton 3 ply kind of a yarn here. Along with that, 1.5 mm steel crochet hook. And also the yarn cutter or the pair of scissors. And also the yarn needle to fasten up. These are the things required for the project. We will start with a slip knot. Wrap the yarn around your finger two times like this and then take the second loop and pull it over the front loop and we will insert the hook and get ready with the foundation. Now chain 5, yarn over and pull through the loop. This is the first chain. Again yarn over and pull through the loop. This is the second chain. Yarn over and pull through the loop. This is the third chain. This is the fourth chain and we need to work one more chain. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Now we have completed five chains over here in the foundation. Then what we need to do is just work a slip stitch into the very first stitch. Insert the hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop. Now you can see that it formed a circle over here. So we are going to work into the center of the circle in the round 1. Chain 2, 1 and 2. Then work 3 double crochets together into the center of the circle. Yarn over, insert the hook into the center, yarn over pull through now we have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through two of the loops now we have two loops again yarn over insert the hook into the center of the circle yarn over pull through now we have four loops on our hook yarn over pull through two of the loops now we have three loops on our hook again yarn over insert the hook into the center yarn over pull through now we have 5 loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through 2. Now we have 4 loops on our hook. When you have 4 loops, yarn over and pull through all 4 loops. This is to be considered as 4 double crochets together. Then chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then work 4 double crochets together again into the center of the circle. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the center, yarn over, pull through. Now we have three loops, yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Now we have two loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the center, yarn over, pull through. Now we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Now we have three loops on our hook. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the center. Yarn over, pull through. Now we have 5 loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through 2 of the loops. Now we have 4 loops on our hook. Again, yarn over and insert the hook for the last time. Yarn over, pull through. Now we have 6 loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 of the loops. Now we have 5 loops on our hook. When you have 5 loops, yarn over and pull through all 5 loops. And then chain 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then we need to work another set of 4 double crochets together into the center of the circle. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. Now we have 3 loops, yarn over, pull through 2. Now we have 2 loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the circle, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through 2. Now we have 3 loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the circle. 
Yano a pull through. Yano a pull through two. Now we have four loops on our hook. Again, Yano a insert the hook into the circle. Yano a pull through. Yano a pull through two. Now we have five loops on our hook. When you have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops. We have completed that petal as well. Then chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now we will have some space by pulling the petals together here to make two more petals just like this. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through and yarn over and pull through two now we have two loops on our hook again yarn over insert the hook into the center yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two now we have three loops again yarn over insert the hook yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two now we have four loops again yarn over insert the hook into the center yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two now we have five loops yarn over and pull through all five loops now we have completed four petals then we will pull the petals little more to have some space to make one more petal chain four one two three and four and we will make one more petal into the center of the circle Yarn over, insert the hook into the center, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two of the loops. Now we have two loops, again yarn over, insert the hook into the center, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Now we have three loops, again yarn over, insert the hook into the center, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have four loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the center, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Now we have five loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all five loops. Then again, chain four, one, two, three and four. Now we need to work a slip stitch into the stitch on top of the first petal over here to complete the round. So insert the hook into the stitch on top of the first petal, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop. Now we have completed our first round. You can see that we have five petals separated by chain four spaces here and then we will start with the round two. Insert the hook into the chain four space, yarn over pull through and pull through the loop and then we will chain two one and two then work two double crochets together yarn over insert the hook into the same chain four space yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two now we have two loops on our hook yarn over insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through all three loops this is going to be considered as three double crochets together then chain five two three four and five then we need to work three double crochets together again into the same chain four space yarn over insert the hook into the same chain four space yarn over pull through now we have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the same chain four space, yarn over, pull through the space, yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Now we have four loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all four loops after that chain one and work three double crochets together into the next chain four space over here so yarn over insert the hook into the next chain four space yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two now we have two loops on our hook 
again yarn over insert the hook into the same chain 4 space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through 2 now we have 3 loops again yarn over insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through 2 now we have 4 loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all 4 loops again chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 then we will work 3 double crochets together into the same chain 4 space yarn over insert the hook into the chain 4 space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through 2 again yarn over insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through 2 now we have 3 loops on our hook again yarn over insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through 2 now we have 4 loops again yarn over and pull through all 4 loops chain 1 and work another set of 3 double crochets together chain 5 and 3 double crochets together into the next chain 4 space 1 2 3 now we have 4 loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all 4 loops and chain 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 then work one more set of three double crochets together one two three then yarn over and pull through all four loops then again chain one this is the pattern we need to repeat until the end of the round so we will work two more sets over here Now I have completed two sets and then we need to join by working a slip stitch into the stitch on top of the first petal. With that we have completed the second round as well. This is what it looks like now. And then we need to start by making a slip stitch into the next chain 5 space. Insert the hook, yarn over pull through and pull through the loop and then chain 2 1 and 2 this is going to be considered as the first double crochet and then work another double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the chain 5 space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through 2 again yarn over and pull through 2 these two are going to be considered as the first two double crochets then we need to work two treble crochets over here yarn over twice insert the hook into the same chain five space yarn over pull through now we have five loops yarn over pull through two now we have three loops yarn over pull through two now we have two loops yarn over and pull through two we will work the second treble yarn over twice insert the hook into the same chain file space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two now we have completed two trebles as well then chain five one two three four and five then we need to work two trebles into the same chain file space yarn over twice keep the finger insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull through now we have four loops yarn over pull through two 
now we have three loops yarn over pull through two now we have two loops yarn over and pull through two again one treble so yarn over twice insert the hook into the same space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two after completing two triples we need to work two more double crochets here yarn over insert the hook yarn over pull through now we have three loops yarn over pull through two now we have two loops yarn over and pull through two again work another double crochet yarn over insert the hook yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then chain one and work a single crochet into the chain one space over here in between the petals insert the hook yarn over pull through now we have two loops yarn over and pull through both the loops and then again chain one and then we will work another set into this chain five space as well two double crochets one and two then we need to work two treble crochets into the same space yarn over twice insert the hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then again another treble into the same chain five space and then chain five one two three four and five then work two trebles into the same chain five space one and two then work two double crochets into the same chain five space one and two and then chain one and work one single crochet into the chain one space over here and again chain one after that we need to repeat the pattern two double crochets into the next chain five space one and two then work two trebles into the same chain five space one and two then chain five one two three four and five then work two trebles into the same chain five space one and two then work two double crochets into the same chain five space one and two then chain one and work a single crochet into the chain one space over here and again chain one now we need to repeat the pattern until the end of the round so we need to work two more sets over here
now I am at the end of the round 3 and then we need to work a slip stitch to the second chain from the start 1 and 2 this is the second chain insert the hook into the second chain yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop with that we have completed all the petals here and then chain one and you can leave a little tail and cut the yarn off like this and then we can use our yarn needle to hide the tail of the project And after that you can use your hook again to pull the corners of the star you need to insert the hook into the middle stitch over here and then pull it tight like this so that it will look like a star we will continue to do that into other corners too This is how the final project will look like. I hope I have explained all the instructions clearly for you. Please comment in the comment section below if you have anything to ask regarding making this. You will be able to watch more tutorials like this in my channel to crochet beautiful things like this. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe Hiru Handmade Crochet so that you won't miss any of those. Thank you very much for watching Hiru Handmade.